Well, ladies and gentlemen, so Merry Christmas. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the message of the holidays. So let's begin and continue our saga with fifth Lord in the 11th house. And what happens when fifth Lord is sitting in the 11th house in your horoscope. And as always, if you do not know where your fifth house Lord is placed and where your any planet is placed in your horoscope for that, check out the links here and check out my full astrological report and full numerological report including with my books, Astrology, Conjunction, and Aspects at the Speed of Light, so you can get all the information at one place. So, what is Fifth House? Fifth House represents education, children, creative self-expression, romance, political arena. It represents uh, uh, your past life good deeds. It represents speculative business, sports betting, uh, gambling, okay? So a lot of things are represented by the fifth house. And then when the planet that is controlling this goes into the 11th house, well, what is the 11th house? 11th house is the most powerful house of money. It's the more powerful house known as the house of gains, house of fulfillment of desires. Whatever desires you have, are they gonna be fulfilled or seen from the 11th house? And 11th house shows your elder siblings. It shows your professional network circles. It, uh, it uh, shows large society. It shows large group circles, all your professional uh, friends and network circle that you have. That's pretty much what 11th house is because the more connections you have, the easier it is to gain in life of more most people, okay? Although I have like literally one friend, so I guess I'm out of luck. But anyway, so when 5th Lord goes into the 11th house, show us the gain of the 5th house, meaning you will gain in a speculative business. You will gain through romance. Being in a romantic uh, situation may bring you gain. Shows through children you will gain. Perhaps the children were born and suddenly you found this great luck in your life. Or through children, when they grew up, they became millionaires and billionaires like you fathered the next Bill Gates and next thing you know, you're living in a mansion. So gain through children. Shows gain through education, meaning that once you get your degree, once you get your undergrad degree or postgrad degree, especially like your college education shows, you might gain through it, meaning that you get your education and you get a job where you even get more money than what your student debt loan is within one year. And you pay that and you keep getting gains because the more knowledge you gain, the more money you gain. That's what pretty much it shows. That the more knowledge you're gaining, the more money you will gain. And with fifth house, uh, when it shows that speculative business, it shows that somebody who might be in stock market, speculative business like sports betting or gambling, cinema, arts, media, because all of these things are speculative business. You do not know how much you're going to money, make money tomorrow. What I'm doing here is speculative business. I'm not sure how many people are going to watch this video. Okay. Depending upon how much how many people will watch this video, that's how much I will get paid. So that's how you see this speculative business. This is a perfect example for it. So that's what fifth house represents. Now, depending upon what planet goes into the fifth house, you may have different, uh, uh, you know, scenarios, but they will all give you some sort of a gain. So let's say if uh, sun controls your fifth house and sun goes into the 11th house, shows that you may gain through your father. You may gain through politics and government, but at the same time shows that you may have had a very traumatic relationship with the father, especially in your youth. Because as you know, I've made a video on Scorpio and Aquarius, how these are karmic signs and any planet in here kind of suffers. So what this shows is that you become too egoistical about uh, or amongst your friends, amongst your uh, uh, network circles. And when you become too egoistical, people don't like you and people kind of leave you. They're like, this guy is complete jackass or this girl is complete jackass, okay? So because of that, you may lose your network circle. You burn because sun is such a hot planet. Wherever it sits, it's going to burn some significance. This is why it's always better to have uh, sun in the Upacha houses, 3rd, 6th, 10th, and 11th house. But because the Upacha house is still uh, 11th house, but because of the sun is in the karmic sign of Aquarius, it shows it'll really burn the significance. And unless sun is positioned in a better sign in the divisional chart like Namansha, 
then it'll show that later on you'll be able to adjust and and reduce your ego to you know um, withstand everybody who's around you uh, let's say moon controls your fifth house and moon goes into the eleventh house shows that you are very hard and you know unsympathetic to your children shows that your emotional side towards children is more about work than emotions you're more about practicality than emotions because here moon is now wearing the coat of capricorn it's wearing the jacket of capricorn and that means sun is trying to hide its emotions so you may hide your true emotions with your children yet you will gain slowly and steadily with your children. So you may not get such luck and gain early on in your children's youth, but when they get really old in their 40s, you will start to gain. Because here, Moon is slowly starting to gain power because Capricorn is ruled by Saturn, and Saturn is a very slow-moving planet. So Moon kind of gains slowly with, the, with children here. And it also shows that the mind, which is the Moon, is really involved in making sure that you yourself and your family including your children are in a higher privileged society meaning that higher uh, level of ranking in society because Saturn is a very rank hungry planet okay Saturn wants the rank the government rank so it shows that with Sun and Moon somebody who might be gaining through government as well or politics let's say Mercury controls your fifth house and Mercury goes into the 11th house shows that your source of gain comes through communication it comes through communicating with your children communicating with your network circle and especially you get a network circle that is very intelligent very logical analytical but at the same time they are out there spiritually as well these are the people who gain the kind of network circles like they have phd and master's degree and they're amongst all these people or they will find a spiritual people who are very highly in intuitive and intelligent in, in their in their sphere and their you know whatever they do and mercury here makes a person a very good businessman in stock market and sports betting in gambling because that's what mercury is all about this mercury is about the business he's like hey let's make that sale let's make this bet i think we can do this so a natural businessman comes out of this and this person also makes sure that their children knows how to handle money knows how to deal with money because of the fact mercury loves um, uh, dealing with money, loves dealing with numbers. And that's what they instill in their children that, hey, this is how you deal with debt. This is how you deal with all the situations. So children are very well raised with this kind of position with Mercury. And let's say Venus is control, uh, controlling your fifth house. Venus goes into the 11th house shows. You may somehow gain women who are very aggressive or at the same time, they might be very much uh, uh, traumatically uh, raised in the family meaning that the women that you interact with and you're going to interact with only women most of the time having venus in the 11th house shows that you may gain women who are very jealous and very secretive and they were they suffered so much in life that they are very hardcore now they don't really have too much emotions or they are very obsessive in their emotions and they're very controlling so you will get a network circle but that's very controlling of you that will not try to have you rise to the next occasion and but one thing though, you gain a lot through your wife. You gain a lot through girlfriends and females. Because Venus loves being in the Upacha house, especially in the 11th house. Third and 11th house. Because, because actually, no, I'm sorry. Kama houses. Because 11th house is not only Upacha, but Kama house. Venus loves being in the Kama house. Third, seventh, and 11th. Because that's where Venus that wants all the material desires comes to be. So whatever the person wants materially gets it, but they get it through a female, whether it's their wife, mistress, girlfriend, you know, boss, whoever. Through women, they will capture their money and their gain and their fulfillment of desires. Let's say Mars controls your fifth house and Mars goes into the 11th house, shows that somebody who's very aggressive about money, who's very aggressive about uh, taking risk and, uh, and, and uh, taking the bet, meaning these people become very aggressive gamblers, very aggressive businessmen. They make sure that what they want, they get no matter what, hap what happens to the people around them. Like these are the people who will diplomatically 
try to get what they want, but they will do it aggressively. Like these are the very pushy salesmen. They are the ones who are out there trying to just make it happen. Like when it comes to the word make it happen, these are the people, they're out there as stockbrokers, as, as you know, uh, uh, financial advisors and financial analysts trying to just make the, the quick buck. And what happens is, is that these people become very spendthrift. Venus and Mars, uh, you know, in the 11th house makes a person spend money because Venus is that princess who wants to gain money so that she can buy the cosmetics, she can buy the makeup, she can buy the dresses. Mars is a soldier who has no idea about money. Mars is just all about, oh, I have money, I can buy weapon. I have money, I can buy food. I have money, I can buy shelter so I can protect myself. That's why Mars here aggressively spends money on protecting itself. They may get the house, they may get the best car, they may get the security guards, everything. They wanna make sure that, okay, the money is being used quickly because they do not know when the money is gonna come from. And usually these people gain a lot through their male siblings and male friends. And they will find very aggressive older sibling who will motivate them to gain money. Like, you know how your people are like, oh my God, my elder brother really motivated me to do this, do that. And I did it. That's probably because you have Mars in the 11th house where the elder brother became this motivator for you to gain money. And Jupiter controls your fifth house. Jupiter goes into the 11th house, shows somebody who's good in finance, money, dealing with money. Your network circles have huge amounts of money. You love dealing in numbers. You love dealing with people who are uh, controlling the money because Jupiter is a significator of money and Jupiter is a significator of the 11th house. So show somebody who might be a stockbroker, financial analyst, you know, um, anybody in economics, economic studies. At the same time, this Jupiter becomes a great salesman. No matter if you're selling this uh, rotten banana that I haven't eaten at all, which I should eat, actually, I should win, eat one right now. Or if you were trying to sell this iPad, you would be great at it because you know why? Jupiter adds a philosophical touch to, um, to your sales. Meaning that you make up stories and you say things that uh, enlightens the other person that are like, oh my God, I got to buy something from this guy. He's so intelligent. So that's what Jupiter does. I'm sorry, I was craving banana and I tried, picked it up. I'm like, oh my God, I haven't eaten a banana in like a week. So anyway, that's what Jupiter does. Well, let me pause the video and eat my banana, okay? What this also Jupiter shows, oh, that was a good banana is that you will guide your children and you will be this gain of knowledge for your children, meaning that you will be the one who gives them most of the education in their life and your children will gain through that. However, it'll become vice versa. Through your children, you will gain knowledge. You will gain the perspective of spirituality. You will gain the perspective of God through your children because of fact, Jupiter represents spirituality and religion. So it gains of that through children. Through romance, you become spiritually, you know, awakened in romance. Now, if Saturn controls the fifth house, goes into the 11th house, show that Saturn may actually um, slow down your earnings and slow down your gains early on in life. But as you progress through your age, when you're mid-30s, Saturn will start to give you more and more gains. You'll get more and more and more and more gains unless, of course, Venus or sun are there helping Saturn, okay? If there's a mutual aspect between Saturn and Venus or sun, then Saturn will gain a lot. But Saturn here shows steady growth, meaning that your network circle will be of people who are very conservative, people who are very mature, older in age. You gain, uh, you gain a lot of advice from older people and that becomes your network circle. And they teach you that, hey, money doesn't come, you know, in a split second. Money comes through hard work and money comes through steadily saving and growing your money. So these guys are very much of those people who may save money or who may like really control money. They may not want to spend so much money because they're afraid that they're going to lose it. However, Saturn is in the Upacha house of 11th house and here, Saturn, the more you grow older, the more Saturn will give you. So eventually you will catch up to the people who you can catch up to and you will have more money. Here as well, politics become a huge gain for yourself. 
politically you can gain a lot because Saturn represents the vote of the masses, a vote of the unprivileged people. And unprivileged, your network circles is becomes of people who need you, who want you. And you need them and you want them. So this is why politically is a very good thing. Um, Saturn here in the uh, 11th house shows that somebody who doesn't take risks as much. They're very cautious with their money. And they teach the same thing to their children. They're very disciplined with their children regarding their sp uh, spending habits. They teach their children, this is spend here, don't spend here. But at the end of the day, in the Mahadasha of planets of these 5th house and 11th house, you will gain. You will gain a network circle. You will gain money. But each planet will tell you at appropriate timing when you will gain money and how will you gain money. But, you know, this is how uh, this scenario uh, pans out of 5th floor in the 11th house. Okay. So guys, this is my analysis of 5th floor in the 11th house. If you're new to my channel, subscribe below. And again, if you want to know where your plants are placed and look at your whole uh, detailed astrological and numerological report, check out the links here. Otherwise, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.